good day guys and welcome to Mr. Omar tutorial on building and structures. Do you know that there are some mistakes that have been done on sites that can be detrimental to the building and can even be as worse as leading to collapse of same building? Yes, it happens. Now I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on some of those mistakes that are done on site and that might lead to your building not lasting to the test of time as expected or even leading to death. Yes, some building collapse due to some little errors and mistakes that could have been avoided. Now, first of all, one of the mistakes that have been done on site without you noticing is the mixing ratio of the, the concrete that is being used on site. You find that funny, right? There are some workmen that do not follow the standards of mixing or mixing capacity ratio of the building. If they have been told to mix one is to two is to four, some of them mix more of it. They go to the extent of even mixing one is to four is to eight or is to nine or even ten, which makes the concrete weak and not be able to hold through or to carry the expected load which it is supposed to carry which involves the block wall and even the roof shocking that's number one then number two the type of water that is being used for mixing of your concrete in the site the type of water must be clean and must be tested and checked to make sure that this water does not carry sulfate and other uh, materials that might be detrimental or dangerous to the lifespan of the cement. Shocking, right? Water is very important in the mixing of cement and other components of a concrete. And once sulfate is involved, it weakens the strength and the capacity in which this concrete is supposed to perform. I believe some of you must have been seen rising in dampness in building outside the building. You see it looking like the building is being rotten or the building is being fed out or something like salt or sandy uh, walls and the rest. That is sulfate. Sulfate rising from the dampness of the ground upwards and it's not good for a concrete. That is number two. Then, number three. Number three is the choking format of a block. There are some uh, messes or some workmen that normally when they put blocks on each other, they don't choke it properly. They don't choke it properly. They end up choking half parts of the block without choking it properly for it to, to bond properly. And this bonding becomes so weak to the extent that when you apply another block on this block, it tends to switch or it it's slides and tilts a little bit. You will not notice this tilting because they will cover it up in the next block and add more concrete. This creates an uneven settlement of the blocks, leading to an eventual collapse in the future. You might not feel it at instant. Though, after you have finished building this structure, it becomes life-threatening without you knowing. That is number three. Then number four, your reinforcement. When I mean reinforcement, I mean the iron. Iron that is being used. I know some of you know them as rod iron. In the building environment is being called reinforcement. That reinforcement that is being used to build should not be placed on unnecessary conditions of weather. When I mean unnecessary conditions of weather, we mean something like leaving your reinforcement in the rain. Once uh, it uh, gets contact with dampness, it becomes rusty. And when it becomes rusty, its capacity to carry load becomes weak. The strength becomes weak. Of course, yes. 
reinforcement becomes weak when it entangles with dampness when you are not ready to use your reinforcement make sure you keep it in a dry place where it will be safe for you to use that is number four then now number five always be sure to check your workmen when they are working always be sure to check your workmen when they are working there are sometimes some workmen end up uh, the format of your your block wall which uh, the bonding the bonding format uh, they, they tend to change the bonding format which ends up not going well with the building and I believe with this you should be able to know that uh, you might be packing into an already completed building which you don't know will be life threatening to either you the occupants your family or whoever is visiting so you have to run a quick check on all this aspect all these parts before it fails and when you begin to notice a crack on your wall it might be regarded to your foundation not on even settlement of your foundation that the foundation was not well leveled you see these workers using uh, a level there's what is called level a plumb to check the level of the building if it is uh, well spread and it is leveled try to make sure you check these things because when they are not done it affects the superstructure and you tend to spend more when this problem comes up i believe with this little idea that i've been giving to you today you should be able to know that when you're on site to check your workers to make sure that these works are adequately done to avoid you spending excess money after they have finished their work and left side and you packing into a building that might be life threatening to you and your family thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get more updates on building and structures and problems and resolution involving your building this is your favorite mr omar thanks for watching